Hello, I'm Ellie for edu for hava and this is tutorial number 10 of SQL. In this tutorial we're going to see sub selects. This would be insert a select inside a select or for example insert a select inside an insert or inside an update. Let's see some examples. Here um, I've created a new table, authors, that as you can see has the name of the author and the date of their birthdays. Here, Edu, Eli, Pedro and the birthdays. With the books tables I've made um, some changes in some of the registers. I've also I wrote here a new book called Maven 2. I've got all those books, two for Medu, one for Meli, Juan and Pedro. You can see that in the author table we have Edu, Eli and Pedro. Juan isn't there. We can see that Juan here isn't in the author table. This means that the author table is only for the recognized authors. Juan isn't a recognized author, so he isn't in the author table. I also I also have an empty books to table, and I have a table. Here you can see it's empty, and I have a table publisher with Edu for Hava, and I've changed uh, the second one to Edu Publi to be able to differentiate the name Edu from the name of the publisher. We are going to try to solve now different problems um, we can have with a database like this one through instructions. Okay, for example, we're going to look at authors, the table authors. How can I find here the youngest author? The first thing I have to do um, would be select this instruction here as there is from author, yes. But how can I filter so that I get the youngest author? Well, first we do, we'll do a where In the where, what we want is the one who is the youngest. And how can I get this? Um, here comes the subselect trick. We want the maximum birthday. And for this, um, we can write, uh, as we said before, we can write uh, select and ask for the maximum birthday. Um, in fact, the youngest author is uh, the one who has the latest, the maximum date. So we write select maximum and inside we'll say birthday because it's a maximum birthday from the authors, from the table authors. If we run this select uh, it gives me an error. Okay, we have to first choose the schema from here we run it again and it gives me 1985. If we now look at the authors table, we see that 1985 is the youngest. So till now we are okay. We are going now to choose the author, which birthday is 1985 which was the result from before. Okay, let's run it and as you can see it's Ellie with 1985. As you can see using a select inside another select we have solved this problem. We are now going to see another problem. Only the book from recognized authors. That's what it says here. We want to list the books, but only from the recognized authors. 
to select books, it's easy. You write this. These are all the books. From here, we only want the books from the recognized authors. We are going to use the where filter so that we only have the recognized authors. How can we know who is a recognized author? We can write author in the select. Um, we know that the authors we want are the ones which are inside the author authors table. So we'll write select name from this authors table. Okay, we write this. Select name from the authors table. We run it um, and to see what's inside Edu, Eli, and Pedro. If author is Edu, Eli, and Pedro, we are going to select the books where the word author is inside the subset. Edu, Eli, and Pedro. Inside the subset result of this select. Let's try. As you can see, here they are. One who wasn't a recognized author is not here. Now uh, we're going to... We'll see another type of problem. We're going to insert in books 2, in the table books 2, the book from the recognized authors. To insert them in books too, it's quite easy. We'll do, we'll write the instruction, insert books too, the table books too. Um, sorry, it's really insert into books too. We're going to see uh, the um, table books too, which is empty, as we can see here. Insert into books two. Let's run this. The author, which are inside the subset of recognized authors, is the, the ones in the books table. We run and we do this again. And here they are. We have all the books of the recognized authors inserted in the table books two. That's it. Solved. Lastly, we're going to resolve this. Add to this one that comes here, add to the author column of books 2. Let's see. It will be this column here. Yes, add to that column the editorial, the publisher to whom he works for, with a hyphen in between. This means that Tedu here has a hyphen and after the name of the publisher will be written. OK. The ID publisher, um, here it is, number one in this case was Edu for Hava. We're going to see here first in Table publisher, we see Edu for Hava for ID publisher number one, and the other was Edu Publi. What we need to write here is Edu hyphen Edu for Hava. This one here will be Edu hyphen Edu Publi. Eli, the next one will be Eli hyphen Edu for Hava because it's number one, and the last one will be Pedu hyphen Edu Publi. For this, we'll write an update. Here I have it. I've, I'm going to copy and paste it from where I did it before. Here it is. We'll do an update of books to table. We'll modify this one and we're going to set the field author. In author, we're going to use concat to put what we already had, which is Edu, Edu, Eli, 
concatenated with a hyphen, which will separate them, and after the hyphen, this select. This select, we are going to run it to see what's inside. Um, uh, okay, I have a problem here. Let's see. Um, okay, this select is um, a bit complicated because um, here we have um, it's going to select one name from the table publisher just the name of the table publisher which uh, fits exactly in this condition here um, the condition where the ID publisher of books of books 2 here is exactly the same it's equal the ID publisher of the table publisher. It's a bit complicated, but I think it's okay now. Um, we're going to have a look first at books 2 before we update it. Here it is. And when we run this, we look at it again. And as you can see, it wrote edu hyphen edu for Hava. Edu hyphen edu public, Eli hyphen edu for Hava. Basically, with this ID here, we got the publisher which matched with this publisher here. And he got the name, the name, yes, and he used it to concatenate it with the other one. This one is complicated, but if you look at it slowly, you surely understand it. Thank you for listening. See you in the next tutorial. Bye.